In good health, more women are learning about the link between HPV and several types of cancer, including cervical cancer. And HPV is also causing cancer in men, and many don't even realize they're at risk. Dr. Frank McGeorge has a closer look at the growing problem and the role parents in particular can play in helping to stop it. Jeff and Andrea Busby have a busy life raising horses on their property, but their world was turned upside down when Jeff was diagnosed with cancer. It started with pain in his ear and then in his throat. He blamed his history of sinus infections until he discovered a lump in his neck. I'd just been toughing it out and my partner says, hey, you can't just tough these kind of things out. You gotta go get them checked out. A biopsy revealed Jeff had cancer caused by HPV. According to the CDC, up to 80% of sexually active adults will be infected with HPV in their lifetime. Most patients who are exposed to this virus, they don't know it. They'll never have symptoms from it. But some of those patients will move on to develop a cancer. Because of that, the HPV vaccine is recommended for children age 11 and up. Somewhere along the way, these vaccines developed um, the idea that they had to do with um, human sexuality and preventing a sexually transmitted disease. But in reality, they are designed to prevent cancer. These are cancer vaccines. Jeff needed surgery to remove his bottom teeth and part of his jaw, 35 radiation treatments and six rounds of chemo. He's now cancer free and focused on preventing this from happening to anyone else. There's so many parents that even hear about it that still choose not to do it. So I, I can't, it's beyond me. I can't understand it. Now some of the symptoms of head and neck cancer include ear pain, difficulty swallowing, and a painless lump on the side of the neck. Now you can learn much more about HPV, the link to cancer, and the HPV vaccine on the health page at clickondetroit.com.